Hi, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining again today. Uh, the fly I'm going to tie today is an uh, aero wing hopper. Uh, productive fly um, throughout the summer and into the late autumn. Um, and the, they can be, the fish can be caught from the surface or just underneath. Hopper is a good pattern for searching for fish when they're near the surface. So we'll, uh, we'll get on cracking. We'll uh, start with some of the what we're going to be using today, and uh, the thread is Semtify, and it's twelve o black. For the legs of the hopper, the, the pre pre knotted legs in black, a lot easier than tying your own. Um, the body is going to be black seal's fur, and the rib. It's going to be um, olive holographic tinsel and the wing, the over wing is going to be um, black Tiemco aero wing. So we'll, uh, we'll crack on and just start behind the eye. Now we'll, uh, we'll take a length of our olive holographic and tie it in as we go down the shank. Tying it down towards the bend. About where the barb would be if it was barbed, but it's obviously barbless. Now we'll take some of our um, black seal spur and dub it on. Seal spur, it's not the easiest thing in the world to dub on. I just wet my fingers and dub it on. We don't want it too tight anyway, but because we want it quite bushy, because we're going to get that holographic tinsel there. The bite into the body. So we'll take it up and make them tighten as we as we go. And we'll get another bit. Just the same. Up again. Tighten it as you go, get some more. Up it on. Yeah. So once we've got what what dubbing on. I'm going to take a cocktail stick, got a bit of super glue on it and I'm going to just rub a bit of super glue on the tinsel and then we'll wind the, the rib through, you normally get about three through and then round at the end and then we'll tie it off. Snip it off. Now, this is where we use our um, knotted legs. I normally take about six off the stem. So, cut six here. I'm going to put them on the top. Don't want them too far back. Just so the legs are just basically coming out the back. So I'll put a loose wrap on first and then tie them down, spread them about where you want them, get them in position, tie it in. 
Oh, turn that off. Turn the waste off. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of dubbing on there now before we put the wing on. So I'll dub a, dub a bit more seals fur in. Slide it up. Keep your legs where you want them. You can take the thread through actually. That's fine. Sitting where you want them sitting. Now, uh, for the wing, I'm going to use um, air roll wing. So what I what I do is take about I would say two inches. Fold it over once, so about two inches, and then fold it over once, and then fold it over again. So you've got three, three lengths of the arrow wing, and then I cut this end. Now the end I've cut, I'm going to use towards the back of the fly, so I'll spread it out a bit. And then see where I want it, I want it to come to the, where the bend of the hook is. So if I hold it on there, I can then take a loose wrap, see where I am. if I'm happy check it over and then the front around the front and over the top sit nicely and what I can do then is take a cocktail stick, put another little bit of super glue on the thread, take the finishing tool, flip finishing tool, and do three under there. Snip it off. Trim up a bit and then we're going to use the scissors and take, just leave a short head on the front, like so. Anything you're not happy with, just trim off. Nice and straggly underneath, give the illusion to the legs. So you can actually um, use a bit of velcro on the stick, and just bring the legs out. Looking good. So there we have it, um, the aero wing hotter. You can fish this without ginking the wing uh, if you want it to be lying in the surface or you can pull it under the surface. But if you want to get it to sit high on the surface and uh, fish it like a dry fly, you can just use gink or float on your, on your wing. And this aero wing is absolutely amazing for uh, recovery of flotation. So it's, uh, it's really good. So they are fit, easy to tie, um, catch plenty of fish, get some tied up, give them a go um, and check out my other videos of fly tying and fishing and uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers now.